Yes. Let's do it. Stephen and I, we're talking your squad. Russell Wilson and the Steelers coming off of their bye week. They'll head to Washington to take on phenom rookie quarterback Jaden Daniels and the Commanders. Mike Tomlin is 25-6 and six all time when facing rookie quarterbacks. The Commanders and Steelers were playoff afterthoughts in the preseason, but thanks to spectacular starts, you got to love the parody in football. Both are now heavy favorites to make the postseason. So, Shay, you're up first. Which team is the bigger Super Bowl sleeper, Steelers or Commanders? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the Commanders. I think the Commanders because they have a rookie quarterback. I don't think a whole lot was expected of them. I know no one thought they'd be sitting atop the NFC East uh, at this point of the season. I mean, for the most part, a lot of people thought that with a quarterback, the Pittsburgh Steelers could be really good considering that defense that they had. For sure. So long as you got a defense, you got a quarterback that doesn't turn the ball over and is at least competent. That's all we're asking. You know, all, every quarterback can't be Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson. Just be competent when you have an outstanding defense. And they have that in Russell Wilson. But all things being equal, when you have a rookie quarterback and you're 7 and I think they're 7-2 and two at this point, and they're playing as well as they're playing, I think the Commanders are the biggest Super Bowl uh, sleeper. Stephen A. Shannon, you're wrong. I'm sorry to break it. You're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. The, the, the answer to this particular question is the Steelers. I will remind you that in terms of scoring defense, they're number two in the league. In terms of rushing defense, they're fourth in the league. Total defense, they're ninth in the league. I'll take that into account. I'll take into account the fact that since Russell Wilson has arrived as their quarterback, they've gone from averaging 20 a game to, to 31 points a game. A little, what is it, like 283 yards now. It's over 417 yards per game. I'd also like to add, they are, since this Cat Warren returned to the lineup, that dual running back situation, still is averaging 166 yards rushing. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing. So I'm looking at all of those different things, and I'm saying, okay, so get, let me get this straight. Your passing game is improved because Russell Wilson's behind center. Your running game is improved because Warren has arrived, okay? Your defense is still... There, and T.J. Watt, who, 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 the, who the hell did I just say? I said T.J. Watt, Watt, damn it. That's who the hell I said, okay? So I'm looking at the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I'm saying I'm very impressed. Jaden Daniels is that dude. He's something special. Yes. I'm very impressed with the job Quinn has done. Yeah. I'm very impressed with the job Kingsbury has done as, as, as the offensive coordinator. I understand it. But the commanders have overachieved, and they deserve an abundance of credit for that. We looked at the Steelers, and we knew their defense was elite. Yeah. We just said, what's up with their offense? And since Russell Wilson has been in the lineup, they've answered the call because your running game and your passing game has improved along with your total points. I'm like, yo, that's who I'm rolling with. I'm going to agree with you with the Steelers, but also keep this in mind. Okay. There's a lot of delusion in statistics, too. Can so everything that you said was true, but they played the Jets and they played the Giants. Right. So let's... let's mm. Well, they were this. bad against those other teams, too. Like they, they've been yeah. bad offensively. But, but you always but, talk about competition. Yes. Yeah, but they've been bad for three years offensively. But I'm saying when you're talking about comparing and you're comparing stats is in regards to Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson has been playing good football. Okay. When I look at the sleeper to the question, I'm saying the Steelers are built for the playoffs. They have a running game. They're trying to control the whole flow of the game. Right. They can lean on their defense. Right. So with that type of formula, that's something that you're saying we're going to make a not just say an appearance in the playoffs, a deep push in the playoffs. I'm still not so well, on. You shouldn't be. I'm not so just because of the mere fact that the competition, Molly, yeah. to your point, it's like it hasn't been something that we said, OK, well, I. I would say don't be sold for a different reason. Okay. Don't be sold because the Steelers haven't won a playoff game since 2016. Don't be sold because since J since T.J. Watt arrived, they he's 0-4 in the playoffs. That's a reason not to be sold because we've seen the Steelers get to the postseason and we've seen them. When was the last time Washington been to the postseason? Hello. Let alone with yeah. a game in the postseason. Well, I'm Hello. just making a point about what he was saying. I'm just piggybacking <laughs> off of it. That man, man, that no better. One thing about Stephen A. What you call him? S.A.? Yeah. S.A. I like S.A. He gonna move the dog. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. Oh, Jesus. That's, That's a bet move. It's fluid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real fluid. Yeah, it's yeah, fluid. Man. It's fluid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you still think it's the right move to stick with Russell Wilson? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no question about these proofing that. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't see how you go back to Justin Fields after you've made this and the way they're playing. I was surprised, um, and that's why he's a coach, and as he said, this is why he get paid the big bucks For to sure. make those decisions. Because most times when a guy's winning, mm -hmm. you value winning over stats. Over everything. And yeah. Justin Fields was winning. Now, his stats wasn't, weren't outstanding, yeah. but he was winning. For him to make that switch, because had they lost that game, can you imagine what that locker room would have been like, Cam? We win it. What we were five and three. I think what, what they four and two four at that two. point. Four. At that point, and you 
But I'm going to tell you this. Not the locker room. The stadium yeah. was already on edge. Yeah. So it was so much that, that took. They call it like this. Mike Tomlin looked down the barrel of that shotgun and didn't even flinch. Yeah. So he knew what he was doing, and that's why he gets And paid. he said he was the Lone Ranger on this decision, Stephen A. Right. He said, I, I don't know if he had anybody else in the building. Like, yeah, that's a good, that's, I think you're doing the right thing, Mike T. Uh, uh, Mike, whatever they call him. He said, I'm the Lone Ranger. This is why they pay me the big bucks. Right. I make the tough decisions. I stand behind it, good, bad, or indifferent. That's what I'm here for. But can we agree to this? That decision is still pending. Yes, we agree. great competition. Yeah, we agree. That's we, agree. we agree, and we also and that's have, what Dan Orlovsky was arguing and yesterday. We, yeah. we also have to take this into consideration as well. He's earned the right to make that decision. For sure. Oh, for sure. It's not just because of his title. For sure. The man hasn't had a losing season, and so He's you roll incredible. it. You roll that. There's a lot of coaches that would be scared to take the chance because they haven't built that cachet. Yeah. Sure. They can't afford to. Cam, I want two games against the Ravens, two games against the Bengals. Yeah. yeah. So they got some, they got some coming down that gauntlet. We'll that really we'll learn a lot more about, about the Pittsburgh Steelers than we already know. Cam, as a quarterback, what do you think is the better story, the rookie phenom or the resurgence of Russ? When we're um, talking Commanders and Steelers. And, and I hate to use this word, time. Yeah. But it's, it's almost, I think Russell Wilson is fighting a monster that not a lot of people are mentioning. Okay. He's trying, he's on that Kobe win without Shaq mm -hmm. trajectory of his career. They need Pete Carroll. Right. So I, I have, I can do it whatever. Now, granted, there is a lot of similarities in the Legion of Doom and what yeah. Pittsburgh has created in, in that whole structure of the team. But for Russ, it's more of them like, I got to prove that I can do this on my own. I was trying to do it in Denver, didn't get that opportunity, didn't pan out right. But now it's a real fair chance, and he can potentially do that. After on Denver, the, a lot of people didn't think he should the, be a starting quarterback. The, the, for sure. The interesting nugget that Cam just brought up, just to educate our viewers, right. with, with Kobe, in Russell Wilson's case, the belief was he was pacified. Right. That you had cats, Legion, Doom, and what they brought to the he table and whatever. And, like and, everybody and else he wasn't was. held accountable like everybody else yeah. was. In Kobe's case, that was not the issue. Right. He wasn't considered one that was pacified at all. Right. Corey, you know, Kobe was a warrior, and he didn't give a damn how many enemies he made. Right. He was trying to win, and he was trying to be great all at the same time. Mm -hmm. For yeah. sure. One of my favorite players all time. Uh, how far do you see each of these teams going? What's their ceiling? Like I said, I, I say this. To the point of that you just mentioned, I was looking at the game last night and they seen the AFC North. Yeah. The Pittsburgh Steelers have not played a divisional game yet. That's right. No. Yeah. They are about I to won. go into a, a, a gulag a or a point. gauntlet where it's like, okay, do we really know? I'm looking at the Jets and the Giants from the team structure of that move being made by Mike Tomlin. This is our way to give Russell Wilson his reps. Mm -hmm. Right. The timing. We got the schedule right here. Look at that. Yeah. Sabres, Browns, absolutely. Bengals, Browns, yeah. at Eagles, at Ravens, yeah, Chiefs, right. and Bengals. You're absolutely right. We're going to find out. We're going to learn a lot. We're we going to find out, but we also going to find out about the commanders as well. Yes. You see what yeah. I'm saying? So, I mean, it, this, this, this intrigue, no matter where you look. I'm going to well, teach you. I'm going to give you some real... Uh, uh, Atlantaism, okay. or you know, for the culture, cool. they got this thing that say, uh, "We gonna see." <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? But <laughs> cite the source. Uh, that was Drake, by the way. You know, you actually Drake sound like, like Andre yeah. 3000, but that's just me. But here's the thing: if I'm if Commanders, like we got the Cowboys, we got the Cowboys twice, and we got the Giants. That's three wins right there. Off the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got three wins. I we got the Cowboys. I can't disagree. Yeah. All right, we'll disagree. leave it there.